Do you want to get the huge chef cat in literally just a few hours? Well, I'm gonna be showing you guys the best possible layout in my restaurant. It is so insanely overpowered. But do you want a free huge pet? Just like the video, subscribe, and comment your Roblox username. So here is last video's winner. I'm out of huge rocks today, so he gets a huge king cobra. No way. Okay. Let's go to my restaurant, and I'm gonna show you the layout. So yesterday, I basically spent the whole day trying to find the best layout, and this is the first floor. I'm gonna remove everything and show you guys exactly what you need to do to start from scratch. So our first floor is now entirely empty. This is what you need to do. I keep having the bells on and stuff so I just need to Roblox. But anyway, first I'd recommend the type of table and chairs you use actually does matter quite a bit because if you get more money, you can buy more things that make customers eat faster and then it's just good. But if you're completely new to the game, what you need to do is use the tiki table because people arrive in up to groups of four. So you want to have literally everything in your restaurant groups of four and the tiki table since it's wide you can put them right by each other and then two chairs on each side and then it's good so if you're completely new to the game the tiki table is only two hundred dollars i did a video yesterday on the layouts you should do if you're completely new and that's gonna get you up to at least a few floors so you're gonna definitely be able to afford these and it doesn't really matter what type of chair you use just use the cheap chairs if you're using the tiki tables but then the first one so this is if you're medium game or like mid game somewhere around there like me i think i'm like slightly past mid game right now but then you're gonna want to get gingerbread chairs and gingerbread tables because that those actually attract elf customers and they pay a lot more for stuff usually so those are definitely worth it but if you get even richer which is where i am trying to get right now you can do beach tables and beach chairs because lifeguards pay 25 times so that's gonna pay back with like in an hour or two you're gonna make a lot and my friend tested it. My friend literally has billions. He's in the server right now. But yeah, he tested the pirate tables and chairs. They're not worth it. Then also alien stuff is not worth it. If you're insanely rich, just get the gamer chairs and the gamer tables because those attract YouTubers who pay a lot more. And I'm pretty sure that most of the time are always brings their fans. So you get even more customers and I'm pretty sure they pay more too. So just remember, if you're completely new, tiki. If you're richer, gingerbread. If you're rarely rich, then beach table and if you're insanely rich then gamer stuff so right now i got a few beach tables but here is the layout you want to do so for the first floor you may notice everyone's walking directly to teleport now the teleport is like completely instant so that's very good we have some extra sand gifts but let's claim those so for the entrance you want to do this literally just put a bunch of tables sideways in the front right here and then get a red carpet or well literally anything you want to and you want to build to get red carpet or anything you want to and you want to place on the third block behind everything two like lining up with the door and then place three more on each side of that so that you have a seven block wide thing three blocks away from the door now i'm gonna try to do this slowly so that you guys can like see what to do fast and then just put the beach chairs down on the beach tables go to the other side put the rest of the beach chairs santa claus keeps leaving me gifts but you want these because lifeguards and and I mean, you can do this with any table again, so if you have all gamer tables, then make it that. But Lifeguard entered, he's gonna pay 25 times, easy profit, and I need to buy two more of those chairs. So, one thing, it doesn't really matter if you leave a lot of space, because most of the time they just walk through tables. Now, we're gonna do a little bit of a glitch. Now, a bunch of other layouts do this, and I mean, they haven't fixed it. Well, it's not really a glitch, it's kind of like a strategy, or just like a cool thing that happens with customers to make them go. A little faster but i don't know why gingerbread chairs are broken they literally rotate the other direction for some reason whenever so i have to like you rotate them or turn off auto rotate towards table because they have like auto rotate against table but once we do that then the next table goes right here so a block behind the chairs and a block to the left of the carpet and then the next one goes on the same part on the right so basically just a block away and then a block back and then of course you want to put four chairs around it don't put all six chairs because we're gonna do something else with that area it's gonna be cool trust then to put the rest of your tables behind those so like a block behind the red carpet in line with this table so now we have most of the tables on the first floor 
and by the way let me tell you guys the most customers you can have in your restaurant at once is 232 so it's best not to spam a whole bunch of tables and chairs until like well, i mean you can do that in the beginning that's why i said do in my last video but that's only a minute for like the very beginning because with just the first two floors you're probably not gonna have that many tables and chairs this is more of like a mid game late game layout but now we have all of that done so now there are some important things you need to put on this floor they are called silverware trays and apparently there's like a marketplace or something before and you could get the luxury ones for free which are 600 robux and customers like always grab that so if you got any of those from the marketplace you want to put those in the very middle so like on one of these i have it on the left one because that's like one block closer to everyone else and i'm pretty sure like even the guys over there can grab it so they have like a pretty decent range so we're gonna put the luxury silverware tray right here and that makes everyone eat faster like these guys just got it and i mean that guy's eating a lobster he's gonna eat that so fast it's gonna be crazy one thing do not use tip jars because those just waste time sometimes people walk over them take longer to leave our design is meant for maximum making them leave fast and eat fast so yeah but we still need a bit more for this floor i have 10 million so i'm just gonna spend the rest on gingerbread tables they are pretty expensive but it's gonna be worth it all right we just spent like a million on these but the next one you want to place is basically in the same layout so one behind that one one behind that one one block behind it so that you can put the two chairs right there and the other two chairs and then put the other ones like this one block away so then just of course put all the chairs down make sure they're facing the table because sometimes the game doesn't like to do that now there is one more area that we have to make sure is empty and this is because they teleport here instead of going over to this green thing so it's actually a few seconds faster well maybe just like one or two seconds but it stacks up over time this is gonna make you go a lot faster by the way i have 52.9k and i don't even have my first floor done yet and we're already getting like a few per second so that's pretty fast and i don't have any boost active so if you have this boost if it goes to the 25k like boost or something then you're gonna get a lot more customers and i don't even have the most expensive things my friend does and he gets like 20k per hour i have mostly just free stuff i have a few paid things but yeah and i get like pretty fast customers too but basically for this block you need to go four blocks back so one two three four and five blocks right so one two three four five so this is where you need to leave it empty because they're gonna all teleport through here but you kind of need to do another step first so as you can see these guys over here well they're about to get their food it's gonna be crazy but these guys can reach the silverware and these guys can reach it too but it takes a minute for them to go over there and get it so if you want to make this faster then you can put silverware trays over here like right here so actually let me buy a whole bunch of silverware trays because i kind of need those they're 200k we have 9 million and that's pretty much what we're going to be spending the rest of our money on not gonna lie so now we're seeing hours of money go down the drain i'm gonna keep a million just in case but now we have 43 silver trays so i think we're good oh wait no way guys in he joined he helps me with videos you should go subscribe to him channel is in he now this area just so that people in the back are faster outline it with silverware trays because if someone on this table goes to grab this which is like a 20 percent chance then it's gonna go a lot faster and i'm pretty sure it's the same speed as the gold one it's just like like, there's only a 20% chance of them going to that one but if we have a lot then they're probably gonna go to it instead so just outline all that with silverware trays now I think that's enough we need to fill in the rest of this floor with cherry blossoms I mean well I mean you can do any plant or literally anything but I just like using cherry blossoms because they're like pretty cheap kind of and I, I don't know but I have an auto clicker the game said auto clickers are allowed so let's just go crazy with our auto clicker and put all the cherry blossoms down so the reason we're doing this is to stop our weird customers from going and walking around in this back area we don't want them to do that we want them to teleport and, and just go there instantly so that's why we got to fill in all of this area so it looks like there we go we filled it in so let me show you guys they walk no they're not supposed to do that why are they doing that that's weird oh wait no i know why i counted it wrong it's supposed to be four so the fourth block is right here all right now that that's empty 
Oh wait, we need the cherry blossom right here. So now it should work. Yeah, now the customers are just instantly teleporting. Watch this. They go here, they instantly teleport instead of going here. You have to have all this area filled in or else they're going to be weird and walk straight to it. The only one teleporting up, the chefs still spawn over there and have to run. But literally now everyone teleports on this block, which is so much faster. And since most of our stuff is upstairs, they like instantly go upstairs and it is crazy. So yeah, this is the layout for the first floor. And as you can see, actually literally everyone on the first floor is still using the gold silverware. So maybe they walk to it 100% of the time instead. And this doesn't really have an effect on it. Because okay, I just have one of these gold things. So I, I didn't really test the gold one too much. But yeah, it looks like no matter what, they get the gold one. So I might as well just remove the other silverwares and save them for the other levels. I mean, some of them are going to walk slightly faster. Some of them are going to take longer to walk to get the silverware. But that doesn't really matter matter too much like that's only gonna be a few tables on this side and it's only gonna take like maybe a few seconds and they're gonna eat a few seconds faster so it's gonna cancel out no matter what but it's gonna make a bit of them eat faster so if you somehow have more than one luxury silverware then ggs my friend got like six from the marketplace so he has like quite a bit so we're just gonna fill up the extra space with these cherry blossoms just so that they aren't weird and like walk over there because sometimes customers employees just walk over there for literally no reason but you want to leave this area empty besides the one luxury thing and you want to at least leave this block that i'm standing on right now so to the left of the door on the fourth block because then you're gonna walk here and then that's just like the fastest way to do that so now once you have this first floor layout which hopefully i show good enough if you want you can experiment a little bit because i didn't really test this out too much since well i only test this out for a few hours you can remove these two tables on the side which i might do actually and then just replace them with cherry blossoms because they're far they're gonna take a while to walk over to that thing and i don't want them to waste my time so i mean you can have max 232 customers but you only really need like 200 seats at most my friend has 196 i have 196 now and they're still never really all full because i'm pretty sure you'd only get to 232 if you bought that thing that has extra people and if your service was slow so they're all like stuck in the restaurant but this is fast enough where you will will never get past like 200 people sitting no matter what so the second floor as you can see mine is pretty interesting we're gonna clear it and i'll show you guys exactly what you need to do this one's actually really simple by the way i know it may look a little complicated in the beginning so let me show you guys what you need to do first this is gonna be the dishwasher floor i mean you can do this on any floor but i like doing it as the second floor just because like i don't know it's like just easy so you need 12 dishwashers and literally just put them like this. You can put them back to back. They can walk through dishwashers. So legit just put them three by four long ways facing this way. So if you're facing the front of your restaurant, they should be in this back corner against the teleport thing. Four long, three back. So just do that. And then as you notice, they're walking around randomly. My stupid chefs are going really far away from the dishwashers for some reason. And I don't like that. So we're gonna put cherry blossoms. You only need three. So like make a line of three going away from the dishwashers because they should not be doing that like me personally i never let my chefs doing that and that's why we're making them go three out wait these, i forgot these are chefs not waiters anyways they're weird still because they're on they're being weird but whenever these two go back to work then they're gonna go back in here and then they're gonna be a lot faster and it's gonna work pretty well bro why are they walking through the cherry blossom thing it's supposed to work three it's supposed to keep them out why bro i'm about to fire all my waiters Okay, now they're going back. So just do four if they're being extra weird because it's supposed to be three to keep them from walking out. But I'm just going to do four because they're being super weird for some reason. Now you need all your things that give you boosts or all your decorations or whatever. Decorations don't really give you more customers, but some things are useful. So put everything. I mean, you can do this on any floor, but I like doing it on this floor so I know what I have. But I recommend putting everything on one side that doesn't do anything that you don't need to interact with. So like jewelry cases, this thing. And then everything you do have to interact with on the other side. So, like, I'm gonna put the shrine on this side. I'm gonna put winter bells on this side. The wishing well. The golden wishing well. So, now I can use these. 50,000 cash from that one. 10,000 cash from that one. We use the shrine and it does the weird thing. And then each one of these bells brings elves. So, make sure you do that. Another thing you need, I definitely recommend putting Santa's cookies. Because when Santa goes here, then he leaves gifts. And it's just really useful to have Santa's cookies. I have one Santa's golden cookies. So, just put those it's kind of expensive but they stack and i'm pretty sure they stack up to like 66 or something so 
just put like a lot and it's pretty useful. Then the next thing you need, this is really, really important. Well, of course, if you have the beach tables, get some beach ball display cases and then put like any other boost things on this floor if you want to. I have like a few boost things, but yeah, once you're done with that. Oh yeah, also I have the money tree. So that gives 15k, pretty decent. You need to put a snowman. Doesn't matter how many snowmen you put because just putting a one is gonna unlock the secret gingerbread recipe. This does not show up in the recipes menu, but I'm pretty sure normally, okay, this is only 300. Normally the gingerbread is 1k. Then elves pay like 1.5k. And of course, if you get the beach guy or Santa or someone else, they're gonna pay a bit more for the gingerbread. So snowmen are like $800 or something. Like if we go here down to winter, it's literally 800. So you just need one snowman and then you can literally get the most expensive recipe. It's basically free money. Like just do it since the beginning. That's how I got only like from 1 million per hour to literally like millions per hour. So I'm pretty sure it's about a 2% chance for someone to order the gingerbread. Like it's not one out of a hundred is more common, but like it's still slightly rare. Also, since each one of these bells summons elves, it's basically free customers. So if you have a lot of money then buy a lot of bells, but if you don't, then I guess you can't really afford it. But yeah, you need all these down and then you need all these dishwashers. Now for some reason, they're still walking out of the cherry blossom. Stop doing that. Stop bad. You know what we're gonna have to do on that side? We're gonna have to put our things over here because for some reason they keep walking it bro and now it's three wide and they're still walking through it okay you know what you guys get to you guys they're, i'm gonna build a better wall so that they can't escape okay now this is literally an impenetrable wall and one, one of them is just walking through it like it's nothing okay good good job good job waiters okay, it looks like building a wall like that doesn't matter let's just put our weird stuff back so again you only need one snowman don't put multiple it's a waste of time doesn't increase a chance or anything just one is enough so now we're moving on to the third floor this is the cooking floor now this one is a bit harder than the last one so make sure you pay attention but here's how the cooking floor works my chefs are confused because i literally just stole all their ovens or stoves or whatever so here is what you need first you need the stove area so you can put stoves actually like right by each other you can't place a stove where the red thing is like this but you can place a stove on like right behind another stove so it's kind of like a puzzle game in way. So I recommend put them like that, then rotate these so that it's on the side and it's closer. And actually leave this area, like where they spawn right here, open. Because if it's not open, then they're gonna be weird about it. So your goal is try to make all the chefs stand in one spot, and that is what we're doing right now. Okay, it looks like we can place this one. Okay, wait, we need to place this one first, so that's right there, and then we can rotate this one. But we want to make them all stand in basically the same place, and then we need a coffee machine. If you don't have a coffee machine, just put another stove there, but I'm gonna put a coffee machine here so that they go a little faster. And now, of course, we need to do the cherry blossom thing where we make it go four out. So literally, it doesn't really matter where you place the stoves as long as all of it's facing the same area and it's right by the spawn because then they'll all pretty much stand on like that one block or maybe two blocks. My game kind of glitched, so I replaced all the stoves down. Okay, actually, I removed these two stoves because I just want it to be a little more even. At most, you're probably gonna need like my friend that gets 20k customers per hour uses eight stoves. So this is more than enough. But we need the order stands to actually start getting stuff. So I'm gonna put the order stands right here. So this is basically around the spawn. And since teleports are instant, basically waiters are gonna teleport and then they're gonna instantly get orders and as you can see our orders are filling up so i recommend four order stands i need to buy a fourth luxury order stand luckily i didn't spend all my money it costs one million so yeah that's pretty expensive but now we have all four so we're getting crazy orders it's going crazy fast because they insta teleport insta take it so yeah as you can see everything is being cooked insanely fast i think we can put the other two luxury stoves because they're already all being used i recommend if you're gonna put the other two luxury stoves then well i mean it's being insta instantly cooked it's like 12 things per second actually we have 11 so that'd be like up to 11 customers per second and i don't know where, where are the rest of the orders i think we just cooked everything so fast that literally like we don't have enough customers coming in the restaurant 
to like fill up the orders anymore. So I don't think we needed those other two stoves actually. So yeah, this is the most W layout and let's go to the next floor. I'm gonna show you guys what to do for each customer floor. So this one is like really specific, but you can do the same thing for the rest of the floors. So this is the last part of the layout. I'm gonna clear the floor to show you guys exactly what to do. So first thing you're gonna need to do on this floor and cause we're not like weird, we're gonna buy gingerbread tables. I'm not gonna use the tiki tables. Actually, let's go all out and buy beach tables and chairs. Wait, why am I glitched? It says I have 1.5 million. Bro, literally says I have 1.5 million on the side. I thought I was rich again and I just spent all my money on beach chairs. But I don't have any beach, right? I spent it on beach tables. I don't have any chairs, bruh. Okay, well, anyways, you need to put three tables like this and then you need to put two tables to the right like that. And then you need to put another table like right here. So if you don't have that many floors, put a second table right here. But if you do have a lot, if you don't have that many floors, you can put four tables here like this. But if you do have a lot of floors, then just remove this back table because that's the farthest one. So I removed that back table because I just wanted to. But now put four on each table. Now, if you have a golden luxury thing, then place this table table one more block to the left and then just put the luxury thing right here and then literally everyone will take it on that floor it's gonna be crazy but i do not have that luxury thing so wait actually guys okay i know i know that i'm supposed to be showing like a good tutorial but i messed up a little bit okay i put this table along the this like back part of this one so you want to have these blocks open right here and why do you have that open silverware trays yay so just put silverware trays all along the edge of this whole area and have an outline of silverware trays so that everyone like maybe uses silverware because like if we have this many silverware trays let's be honest how can they not use silverware now i know it does stack but it decreases really fast so it's not like 20 percent for each one so as you can see these guys are using silverware these guys aren't so it increases the chance by a bit if you have more but it isn't like that guaranteed unless you have the golden one so it is a little pay to win but i mean now we need the trees to stop everyone from walking around and being weird so let's just put the trees everywhere so now this is pretty much the best layout you can have i mean if you think about it there's basically no other way to have a better layout because this is the layout where you're gonna be able to not only have the most silverware trays being used but everything is instant so they teleport here everyone teleports between the floors does stuff instantly it's just just the fastest possible way that you can run your restaurant in my restaurant so just do it like this on every single floor if you want to make this one block closer or if you have a lot of floors and you remove this table that i'm standing on right now that could make it go like a few percent faster but this is basically the layout for the fastest possible restaurant you can have some of my friends think it's better to not have any tables on the first floor but i don't have the last two floors unlocked yet and i like having it on the first floor because like okay instead of all of them having to spend time to walk all the way over here having someone on the first floor by the entrance is very fast because they just sit down and i bought the auto seating game pass yesterday i really didn't have to because i have like all level 50 waiters so i already had most people seat like almost instantly but i don't know why i bought it now if you have any other robux items i didn't use like coffee machines while well, i used one but like if you have any robux things try to incorporate them into the setup because it's gonna make stuff go faster now of course try to use the bells money tree all that other stuff and now the only thing you really can do is go afk the thing is broken so it's not going up anymore and my money is stuck for some reason all my uis are broken this has never happened to me before but yeah we're gaining a bit of customers i'm already more than halfway the amount of times i've pressed q to try using my hoverboard even though this is not pet simulator x is kind of funny by the way if you have 65 beach ball display cases it makes it 14 times chance that a lifeguard will visit so it's gonna be a lot more common i'm gonna spend the all the money we get now on these i already have like eight so yeah now all we need to do is wait and we're gonna get it i'm gonna show you guys my friend's strategy Eddie needs to update it but it could definitely be going a bit faster than it is right now so maybe up to even like 25k per hour he makes everyone go to the second floor he doesn't use the auto teleport thing even though he literally started yesterday night he's all already at 54k but he has like three coffee machines he only uses eight stoves and he has the four 
around this like in a corner yeah so many of these silverware things he literally just uses them as like a blocker to make chefs not go away and then the floor three is his dishwasher floor he has more coffee machines and the dishwashers and like a slightly different layout then for each floor with people he has pretty much the same layout but just rotated the other way and more tables because he doesn't have any tables on the first floor so on each floor he has like one extra table and he has a christmas tree in the middle christmas tree is 400 robux and they pay double so if you have the christmas tree this is definitely a good layout and worth it i'm just gonna stand still so you guys can look at it a little bit more so this would be like a late late game layout like the very end game but he did a few things that if he changed it would be better still basically each floor is exactly the same he has the golden utensils on each floor so yeah his is probably the most op layout like or one of the most op layouts you can possibly have but that is it for the video good luck on getting the huge chef cat so make sure to subscribe with the notifications on like the video join the discord and link in the description do everything else links in the description but thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next video